Hello, it's your internet cartoon hyena Jcal Arts here. Today's video, I'll be doing redesigns of the main hero characters of the very infamous and controversial show Lunatics Unleashed. So before I start showing you the drawing, I want it to be known that Lunatics Unleashed as a show is not as terrible as everyone's making out to be. I watch a few episodes on YouTube and it just seems to be a generic superhero cartoon. Nothing amazing, nothing funny, and nothing offensive. Alas, I'm here to redesign the main characters, not give a critique of the show. I want to start off with the black leather jumpsuits. Putting the main characters all in black leather jumpsuits was a bad idea. Not only do you miss out on showcasing the different personalities and powers of these characters through their outfit, but it played a lot into the critical reception of this show when it first aired. Let's be honest, when people think of Looney Tunes, even if these characters are descendants of the Looney Tunes, they think of slapstick humor cartoon characters. And so when you go from slapstick humor cartoon characters to these black leather cladded superheroes, that is a conceptual jump for a lot of people that they're not ready for. And admittedly, it's a jump I wouldn't make if I were designing these characters. So now to the actual redesigning part of the video, I'll be starting off with the main character of the Lunatics Unleashed, Ace Bunny. In the show, Ace Bunny is portrayed as the leader of Lunatics Unleashed, which is the group name, by the way. And he is essentially a very confident, one-line quipping main hero character. He gives me massive Sonic the Hedgehog vibes, particularly Sonic Adventure 2 for the Sonic fans out there. And I guess this is appropriate characterization since he's supposed to be a stand-in for Bugs Bunny. I think A suffers the most from Lunatics Unleashed's art style because I feel like with the current art style, they really couldn't explore or showcase the mimetic side of Bugs Bunny, the faces that he likes to make whenever he's about to troll a character or, you know, give them the jump. And I really feel like they could have played into that a lot more in the show and have Ace Bunny make exaggerated meme faces that Bugs Bunny is known for when he's about to, you know, outsmart a character or give them the yeet and really play into the trolly side of Bugs Bunny. So I'll be drawing not only Ace, but his teammates and other characters from the Lunatics Unleashed universe in this redesign with a black outline style that can be best described as a mix between Rise of the TMNT and the anime sequence from the Animaniacs reboot. And I think with an art style like this, instead of what Lunatics Unleashed has now, you can really play into the expressiveness of these characters because, again, these are essentially ex-spies of the Looney Tunes and so I feel like they should play into the slapstick comedic nature that they're really known for and really the whole show could have been a lot funnier and give off again Rise of the TMNT and Powerpuff Girl vibes in terms of the direction and tone. I'm going to have to give all the characters different color schemes because the color schemes in the original show essentially were a primary color and black and so for Ace Bunny here I've decided to make blue and yellow his colors and I've given him a dark blue super suit with a bright blue vest tied with a yellow belt, yellow knee pads, and blue and yellow boots and I also decided to give him white gloves to call reference back to his ancestor Bugs Bunny and to give, you know, people looking at this design some parallel between him and his original ancestor. The vest top in particular is from one of my references I used, which was the main character's outfit from the Samurai Rabbit cartoon. No, I don't know what his name is. And essentially, this is my excuse to have Ace Bunny essentially not only be a descendant of Bugs Bunny, but of Usagi Yujimbo too, therefore making him of mixed ethnicity. All jokes aside, I will also be changing his superpower because in the original show, Ace Bunny shoots eye lasers, which is a representation of the conceptual jump of Lunatics Unleashed and just the sudden jerk and direction for what are essentially descendants of slapstick cartoon characters. So his weapon will be his superpower and his weapon is a big metal hammer that can transform at least the head part into other props that his ancestor Bugs Bunny uses in his cartoon shorts. Think of the metal anvil, baseball bat, dynamite, 
or really any of the props that you see Bugs Bunny and Multiverses use. And I believe that this is a lot more creative and unique of a weapon that is more symbolic of Bugs Bunny in general than a katana or not katana with futuristic cyber bits inside of it. So that wraps up Asus design. Hopefully this is a more palatable version of whatever they were thinking when they were designing Ace in the original cartoon. So now on to his buddies. Now on to Lola's bunny descendant, Lexi Bunny. Oh boy. The designers had a challenge with this one because at that point in time, Lola Bunny is only known for two things, being the hot furry chick and playing basketball good. So making a superhero around those two traits while maintaining a PG status is a challenge. And so I decided to give her an entirely different superpower than what they gave her in the original show, which is essentially psychic powers. So in my redesign of Lexi, I decided to give her elasticity and agility as her superpowers. I don't blame the creators for giving her, you know, generic psychic laser beam powers in the original show, but I think elasticity and agility is more of an approximation to Lexi and Lola. Lola Bunny in Space Jam is an athlete, and Lexi in Lunatics Unleash actually was a cheerleader who got rejected a spot on the cheerleading team for Acne University before becoming a superhero. So I think giving her these powers are a better approximation. But like I said before, I don't blame the creators of the original show. They didn't have much ground to work on. Before the superpower change, I was going to go with Lexi being the psychic of the group. And I decided to give her this purple and black, you know, one piece top that is worn by the psychic girl character in One Punch Man. I also don't know her name, but I ended up changing the superpower later, but ended up liking the look, so I decided to keep it for the final redesign. And she has a pink super suit underneath that and purple boots and gloves. So there's not really much else to comment here besides the different outfit and different set of superpowers. I would say Lexi changed the least out of the Lunatics Unleashed redesigns of characters. She visually looks like her ancestor more, um, which is valid. She's a Lola Bunny standby, and I know the Lola fans are gonna be happy about that in my comment section. And yeah, there's not really much else to say here. So we'll be moving on to the final character I'll be redesigning in this video, and that will be Danger Duck. So for the final character of the video, Danger Duck. His characterization in the show is spot on. Overconfident, annoying, self-centered, gets to eat his shit for being all of those things at the end. Hilarious, funny. He is yet another character that could have benefited from a black outline art style that could really allow him to be expressive whenever he makes a stupid comment or ends up getting karma delivered towards him for being incompetent. I like the superpowers they gave for Danger Duck in the original cartoon, so I'm keeping them in this redesign. He essentially can teleport short distances, which he calls Quantum Quacks, and this is in reference to some of the crazy animation of Daffy Duck in the original cartoon shorts where he bounces around everywhere. And again, a different art style could have paid closer homage to these animations instead of what we have in the show for a more comedic effect. And he also has the ability to throw egg-shaped orbs that are made up of random different substances and so basically you never know what he's pulling out and throwing at you. So for his outfit, I'll actually be basing it on the same outfit he wore in the Duck Dodger series. The Duck Dodger series is essentially a cartoon where Daffy and other Looney Tune characters are in generic science fiction tropes and for a scientific Futuristic superhero cartoon. I am surprised they didn't use this design of Daffy as a reference for Danger Duck here. So, pulling from this reference, I've given him a teal jumpsuit, turquoise boots, a turquoise belt with an orange egg shaped buckle in the center, which I envision being the place where he pulls out his randomized egg orbs. And I gave him a turquoise cape as well and this cape is a reference to the Weathering Heights episode of Lutex Unleashed and so this is my way of promoting you actually watching the show before you make your judgment call on it wink wink. 
Thank you for watching to the end of the video. Do your cartoon hyena a favor and like, comment, and subscribe, and see you next time.